So that the last thing that I taught you, you know, if you want to get a, if you want to get a copy of that video or whatever, I'll show you later. I've never had anybody hit it, and if you, if you do, I, I'm serious. I'll, I'll clap my hands. Anyway, so here's what we're gonna do. So he's in on a, he's in on a sweet single. I'm gonna take him down into Shin Wizard. Okay. So there's so a couple things you gotta understand about uh, uh, Shin Wizard is the difference between your foot being inside and your foot being outside. If you're gonna shin wizard, you want your foot inside for the most part. There are other things that you can do by taking it outside, but to really utilize the wizard, you wanna have your foot inside. So he's in on sweep single. Great, help me out, son. Okay, I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna turn my knee down. I'm not gonna go through the whole wizard process. You guys know what a shin wizard is, right? You guys don't know what a shin wizard is? Like it's just a wizard coming to my shin. That's all. You guys will maybe call it something else. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the whole process of teaching a shin wizard. It's just tacking the head, taking him down, and getting a hold of my getting a hold of my shin here. Okay, so anytime you're in wizard, the intent is to bump him forward and force him down. That's the intent of every wizard. Okay, we want him to be forced down. We don't want him to be able to score points. Now we have ways that we score points out of here, but what I'm going to show you is what, how we teach shin wizard. So. Pressure forward is the key. So one of the things that we want to do is we want to take our shoulder down to force his shoulder down here, and then I'm going to turn my whole body towards these toes here. You see what just happened? See what just happened to him? Did you hear what happened to him? Okay, if you don't hear that noise, you're probably not wizarding right now, okay? So, and it's best when you wizard and don't tell people you're going to do it because you get that effect. And really, that's really the desired effect, that right there. Okay, so this hand is posted, I'm turning my whole body this way, and I'm gonna put my butt right uh, to his ribs or to his hip here. Now once I'm here, so one of the things that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep him from being mobile. I don't want him thinking that he can step outside this leg and try to work out front to get out of this wizard. So one of the things I do is I post my hand, I wizard down, I get his head down, get my butt here, I'm gonna take this foot and step right over his leg. So turn this way so I can see this. So I've got my laces right over his ankle here. And all my weight is coming down on this. I want all this pressure here. Because I don't want him to take his head up. So once I'm here, I'm going to put my shoulder to the mat. And I'm just going to roll on this shoulder. So I'm here. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my foot across his back. My post hand is going to come to his thigh. And I'm going to pull it as I roll through here. So now I've got him on his back. But once I'm here, this hand's going to grab my own laces, and I'm going to get my count. One, two, three, four, five. Once I get my count, I'm going to release my laces and grab his wrist. Then I'm going to straighten my leg out and put it behind his head. Now I'm going to pull my hand out, post. He's going to do what Smart Wrestler does. He turns down, and I come out, and now I'm in ball and chain. Okay, this is how we do a shin wizard tip. So I'm in on... Wizard, my foot is in between. <laughs> Alright, so, shin wizard. <laughs> Hand is gra grabbing my own shin. Really, what you really want to do is grab right at the top of your sock. That's really what you want. Okay, so, close hand, I'm going to turn my whole body, force his head down. Okay, now I'm going to step my foot over his ankle here, laces to his ankle. Okay. Now I'm going to start dipping this shoulder to the mat, okay? Now I'm taking my foot across his butt. My hand is going to come grab that thigh, and I'm going to pull it right here. Once I'm here, I grab my laces, and I got him trapped. So I'm getting points here, one, two, three, four, five. Once I'm here, I release and grab his wrist here. I'm going to straighten my leg, put it behind his head. I'm not in danger. You're not in danger. But at the same time, you know, don't camp out here either. Posting your hand, taking your butt up. He's going to start to roll over his stomach, and I'm over a ball and chain. Are you guys familiar with ball and chain? There's a lot of ways to score. You can have it, you can create it, you can All right, you guys need to see that again?